Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, we have seen how revenue recognition can be configured using Salesforce billing. Today we are going to cover an important topic which is called invoicing. And we are seeing a fast method of invoicing a order or order product using bill now. So there's a checkbox on order which is called bill now and which will generate an invoice per month. So let's see the agenda. The first thing first is what is invoice, right? So we should know first what's invoice. Then where it fits in into the whole life cycle. Then there are several important fees. Those need to be configured or those need to be present on order product. Uh, different ways to build a use case and we'll review the configuration at last. Now what is invoice? So invoices are a list of purchase items and services alongside the total amount a customer needs to pay. When we purchase something on Amazon or Flipkart or any other platform, we'll get an invoice along with our product delivery, right? In which it is mentioned like the item you purchase, the price for it, and the total amount that we'll have to pay or we have already paid, right? So that is what we call invoice. Then uh, the processing of billing the products across the invoices is called invoicing process. Yeah. Now where it fits in? So we all know, right, uh, for billing, it is required to configure, price, and quote the product. Out of quote, we'll create an order, and from order, we'll create an invoice. So for us to create an invoice, uh, we must have order and order product, right? And then our billing or invoicing will kick in. Some important fields on order product. Uh, this field must be there. Without having this field, we'll not have our invoice or invoice uh, line get created. So each and every order product must have billing rule, recognition rule, and tax rule. Every, every item must have charge type, billing frequency, billable unit price, hold billing, next billing date, overhead next billing date, and invoice and processing status. Hold billing is the field which have yes or no as the pick list value. If hold billing is set to yes, then invoicing for that particular order product will be on hold until uh, the background activities get completed, right? Whatever is specified for. And once that is marked as hold billing no, then that particular in, uh, order product will be invoiced. Right? So ways to invoice, there are two ways to invoice. One using bill now checkbox. The second is using invoice scheduler. And there are uh, difference between both of them, right? So the very first difference is when you use bill now, it creates invoice related to that particular order. And when you use invoice scheduler, it generates invoice irrespective of any order. Okay, so it can club more than one order, order product as well. The second point is, it will now creates an invoice per month and attach it to an order product. Whereas invoice scheduler will create an invoice based on the target date that's been given. The third thing is eligible order products will get invoice based on the next billing date. So there is a field called next billing date, which will determine like uh, what what's the invoicing date, right? Uh, whereas in invoice scheduler, eligible order product gets invoice based on next billing date, as well as invoice batch field available on order. So between both of this, we are going to see bill now today and invoice schedule will cover into our next video recording or video tutorial. Now let's have a use case. So the very first thing is ABC Corporation is selling several services to Acme Corporation and which services? These are the services. Software services is a recurring one, uh, build in monthly, billing type advance, so we'll build everything in advance, right? Uh, maintain service is semi-annually built, but again, we are billing it in advance. So we'll, we'll take the amount upfront for next six months. Installation fee is one time, so that's when that uh, billing frequency is not applicable. ACPE Corporation agrees to pay the charge for services each month. That means we want to use bill now. Okay. Now let's review the configuration. Before going to configuration or before showing you on card, let me show you the product. So this is software services or here the chart type is recurring, frequency is monthly and billing type is advanced. For installation fee, it's one time, so chart type remains one time. For maintenance fee, it's recurring, but it's built semi-annual, okay? So we'll go to the catalog, we'll add all three products in a single go, we'll click on select. So uh, we have purchased it on first of this month, 
purchase for 12 months uh, the price is hundred dollar for month so that means it becomes 1200 usd for 12 month installation fee is one time 40 dollar uh, this is semi-annually uh, semi-annually right so 25 usd is price for six months then it becomes 50 for 12 months i'll just save it and what i'll do is i'll just mark this as ordered again let me mark it as ordered So it will create an order over here and we can see there are three order product right and next billing date for each and every one every order product is first of this month okay I can show you the other fields as well so invoice and processing status is pending billing start date is first of this month Billable unit price is 100. Uh, the total amount is 1200 and it is divided by 12 months. Actually, it's divided by uh, prorate multiplier in quote line, right? But over here, you can consider it as a uh, number of months, okay? So it's 100 coming up. This is one time billing, right? So it's 40 USD only, right? And this one is semi annually billed. So it is 25 USD per six months. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a invoice out of this. So since the next billing date is 1-9-2023, in very first go, the very first invoice will going to have three invoice line. And now let's see. Okay. So I'll go to order and I'll mark this bill now checkbox. Until uh, like as soon as we check this checkbox it will automatically get unchecked right and we'll have an invoice over here so let's wait and let me refresh this we are not getting an invoice why because our order is not activated so first of all we'll have to activate the order and then we're gonna invoice it so make sure you have your order activated before you bill now now it will process it will create an invoice invoice line and then bill now will be unchecked again right let's wait for it so you see it got unchecked and then only we'll be able to check it again right so I'll come over here and I can see the invoice now over here we have three lines right okay so hundred dollar for this forty dollar forty forty dollar for this and 25 USD for this so it will become 165 usd you see the balance is 165 now if i come over here and refresh for each and every line this invoice and processing status should become in progress so i'll come over here and you see it's in progress right in progress and over here as well it becomes in progress now if i go over here and I again check this checkbox bill now will not get our invoice created because the invoice run processing status is in progress once it's become pending billing then only this will get created uh, the next invoice will get created and then this start date like next billing date and billing start date will be changed so what I'll do is to make that happen, we'll just post the invoice, right? And save it. The invoice will be posted in a while. So let's wait. I'll just refresh it. It's again draft since this are the errors. So we haven't configured any kind of text engine as of now. So that's where the error was coming because it is having uh, error over here so that's where it was not posted so i'll just save it remove the steps over there and I'll again make it posted so it will wait it make it post in progress and i'll again refresh it it should become posted and then 
you'll see the change over here it is in progress it will be pending billing now and we'll see the next billing date as well the change in the next billing date so this became pending billing the next billing date will become first of next month right over here next billing date will be gone billing like invoice and processing data is complete because this was uh, one time bill right so now on next one we'll not gonna have this this was semi annually bill right so instead of 110 2023 we're gonna have six month next date right so i'll refresh it it is pending billing and now the next billing date for this one is 1 3 2024 so now when i generate an invoice using bill now it's only gonna have a single line right because the semi-annually build is already built in advance right so we're not gonna have that line on the another invoice so if you can see over here it's a single line only so that way we can use bill now checkbooks to generate invoices for each month on a particular order i hope you like my videos so thank you for watching the videos please like and share the content subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to right and get your hands on learning thank you very much